Hello everyone, welcome to this guitar tutorial for the song Ego by Grant Perez. So first up, I would just like to say a quick thank you to this person right here for suggesting this song for me to teach. Thank you very much for that. So quick disclaimers, first I'm going to be playing this song as close and as accurate to its original audio as possible. So let's play it as simple as possible so that more of you guys will be able to follow. And with that said, let's just go straight right into it. Okay, so for the chords that we're going to be using in this song, it's going to be these ones right here. So first up, it's going to be the A major 7 chord. It's going to be like this. To do this chord, we're going to be pressing the 5th fret and the lower E string, that string A string, 6th fret B string, 6th fret G string, 5th fret B string. It's going to be another dead string in the high E string. Yep. Next up, it's going to be the F sharp minor 7 chord. It's going to be like this. And for this chord, we're going to be pressing the 2nd fret on the lower E string. It's going to be dead string in the A string. 2nd fret B string. 2nd fret G string. 2nd fret B string. Then another dead string on the high E string. Next up is going to be the B minor 7 chord. It's going to be like this. And when it comes to doing this chord, we're going to be using our index finger to bar the entire 2nd fret starting from the A string down to the high E string. And as for the rest of the chord shape, it's going to be the 4th fret on the D string. It's going to be the 3rd fret on the B string. Yep, that's going to be a dead string on the lower E string. Yep, so that's going to be dead string 2, 4, 2, 3, then 2. Yep, next up is going to be the C sharp minor 7 chord. I'm just going to be moving this chord shape from the 2nd fret up to the 4th fret. So that's going to be dead string 4, 6, 4, 5, then 4. Yep, so all in all we've got A major 7. F sharp minor 7, B minor 7, that's going to be the C sharp minor 7. Okay, and as for the strumming pattern, it's going to be this one right here. So allow me to demonstrate, it's going to be like this. So that's going to be down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So when it comes to using your fingers, I recommend using this part of your index finger for the down strums. And this part of your thumb for the up strums. Yep, so all in all, that's going to be down, 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 up, down, up. Now that part represents the first four counts of the strumming pattern. Then the next half is going to be this one right here, and that's going to be up, up, down, up. But if you prefer to use a pick, it's going to be much more straightforward than that. As you're just going to be using the downward motions for the down strums. And you're going to be using upward motions for the up strums. Yep. So once again, with the pick, it's going to be down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now with that said, that a touch strumming pattern is going to be worth for 8 whole counts for each chord that you're going to be playing in this song. Okay, so for the first verse of this song, the chord progression that we're going to use is going to be this one right here. Yep. So first up is going to be the A major 7 chord for 4 counts, and we're going to be using the first half for this one of our strumming pattern. So it's going to be like this. Down, 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 down. The next up is going to be the F sharp minor 7 chord for 4 counts as well, but this time we're going to be using the second half of our strumming pattern. So for this one, it's going to be like this. Up, up, down. We're just going to be repeating that for a total of four repetitions in this chord progression. So once again, it's going to be like this. Down, 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 up, down, up. The next up is going to be the B minor 7 chord for 8 counts. It's going to be like this. Then once more, it's going to be the A major 7 chord for 4 counts, then F sharp minor 7 chord for 4 counts, then repeating that entire thing 4 times. So once again, it's going to be like this. Yep, just like that. And once you finally figured that out, it's going to sound a little bit like this.
Okay, so for the pre-chorus sections of this song, as well as the instrumental section of this song, where Grant Paris kind of talks for a bit, the chord progression is going to be this one right here. Yep. So first up is going to be the B minor 7 chord for 8 counts, which is going to be like this. That's going to be the C sharp minor 7 chord for 8 counts, which is also going to be like this. And after that, we're just going to be repeating that entire thing one more time, totaling this entire chord progression of two repetitions. So once more, it's going to be like this. Yep, just like that. And once you finally figure that out, it's going to sound a little bit like this. Okay, so for the chorus sections of this song, the chord progression that we're going to use is going to be this one right here. Yep, so once more it's going to be the A major 7 chord for 4 counts, which once again we're going to be using the first half of the strumming pattern, so it's going to be like this. Then the F sharp minor 7 chord for 4 counts, using the second half now this time. Yep, and we're going to be repeating the entire thing 2 more times, so once again. Then after that, it's going to be the B minor 7 chord for 8 counts. Yep, then after that, we're going to be repeating that entire thing as a whole one more time, totaling that entire chord progression of two repetitions. So once again, it's going to be like this, A major 7 chord for 4 counts. Once you finally figure that out, it's going to sound a little bit like this. And lastly, for the second verse of this song, chord progression is going to be this one right here. Yep, basically, it's just going to be the A major 7 chord for 4 counts, then the F sharp minor 7 chord for 4 counts, and we're going to be repeating that entire thing for a total of 4 repetitions. So once again, it's going to be like this, A major 7 chord for 4 counts. Just like that. Once you finally figure that out, it's going to sound a little bit like this. Yep, just like that. And yeah, so that's the end of this guitar tutorial. Thank you guys for watching this point of the video. Just leave a like if you've enjoyed it so that I'll know. Now please once again do not forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell down below so that you guys will be able to stay updated for future videos. So if you guys would like me to teach you anything else, just comment it down below as well. And I'll try to do it for you. And you will now also be able to show your support by sending a super thanks my way down below as well. I'd really appreciate that. And if you guys would like to watch my other guitar tutorials, just click these ones right here. It's all good. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.